Hey friends, here's a thought on long-term stress or being in a trauma state or fight or flight, especially for a long period of time, weeks, months, especially years. The hippocampus actually shrinks in the brain and gets a little smaller. The hippocampus is involved in memories and the amygdala actually gets a little bigger and the amygdala increases vigilance. So you can imagine someone who's been under stress for a long period of time um, doesn't necessarily want to or need to remember all the details of life if they're in a fight or flight situation all the time, they're, but they are gonna wanna be very vigilant and be very aware and ready to go if there's ever um, stress, stress. So you can see how that would translate into people who are in a fight or flight situation having memory issues of like, boy, I can't ever remember where I put my keys um, or what I was, what I came into this room for. Although that one's, that memory loss issue for walking through doors is, is also associated with other things. Anywho, but just memory in general. Um, and also you can imagine like OCD and um, other high vigilance, uh, perfectionism, compulsions, um, coming into play if someone's amygdala is expanded because their system is prioritizing vigilance because they're in fight or flight. Um, so it's, you can look around in your own life. Uh, you can even look up the amygdala and hippocampus um, and look into what more of what the symptoms are and what functions those do or don't do if they are, um, if you're in a fight or flight situation. And that's one of the beauties of healing, of uh, healing trauma, releasing trauma, even just using breath work, do, using tools to use your choice and your agency to um, opt into more peace and gratitude, practicing gratitude and awe, um, doing breath meditation, doing meditation in general, and then doing trauma healing exercises like yoga nidra, um, prayer, gratitude, being out in nature, being around people who are safe, safe to be who you can be yourself with and who you can talk with freely, who can hold space for you to share or think out loud and share your thoughts um, and work through, th work through things. But especially the tools that we can use interpersonal or like within ourselves of managing our thoughts, choosing to reframe words that we hear inside of our head um, into words that are more nourishing and loving and supportive. And then breath. Breath is just huge because that's one of the ways that you can consciously override the fight or flight system by communicating to your body, I am safe right now. Because if you've got trauma energy in the system, the body will probably believe that it's in a traumatic situation. But using the breath and slowing the breath down and doing really expansive breath, especially low and not letting your shoulders rise and fall, um, will directly communicate to the body, I am safe. I am safe right now and can help calm down the nervous system.